Hello everyone, welcome to the video on LDAP or Lightweight Directory Access Protocol by IntelliPath. LDAP is a versatile protocol that plays a crucial role in modern data management, access control and authentication. We will begin by addressing some fundamental questions including what is LDAP and why LDAP is essential. But before we begin, I would like to request you to enable both the subscribe button and bell icon for IntelliPath YouTube channel to never miss any update from us. First of all, we will discover the agenda for this session. We will start by defining what is LDAP. After that, we will explore why organizations rely on LDAP. And finally, we will break down how LDAP works using a step-by-step -step approach to explain these operations. I hope I have made myself clear with the agenda for today's video. Before we begin with today's agenda, let's try to understand what problem LDAP solves. Meet Alex. He recently started working in a big MNC. There are around lakhs of employees in his particular organization. And on his first day itself, Alex was supposed to work on a data analysis task. For that, he requires software such as Tableau, Power BI, and the access to the databases. Now, imagine if the organization were to maintain manual employee access record for these softwares and their passwords, it would turn out to be a mess, right? I mean, just imagine that employee asking the support team for login ID and password for all the time sounds like a big problem, right? That's where the LDAP steps in. LDAPs running behind the scenes, Alex will simply click on icons of this software and he will be able to use their functionalities without any sign-in. Sign-in, authorization, authentication will be taken care of by magical protocol known as LDAP. But what exactly is it? LDAP stands for Lightweight Directory Access Protocol. It provides a structured, hierarchical and the efficient method for querying, retrieving, adding, updating and deleting data stored in directory services, which can include information about users, groups and the resources. Let me elaborate this for the problem I said. If the company has stored the details of all the internal employees in a directory server, like generally the big companies store the details of employee in the LDAP server. Through the LDAP protocol, any other employee of this organization can access the data with the company's permission. Then in this way, Alex can easily access the tools as per his requirements and continue with his project. Moving forward, let's try to understand why LDAP was developed. C. Taking the example of Alex, we can clearly say that it would become very difficult to get access to the tools he required for his work like going to the admin again and again and asking permission for each and every tools. So here through LDAP, any employee with the permission of organization can easily access the details of the employee which make it easy and time saving. We will now see some of the reasons why LDAP was introduced. LDAP is a protocol which helps to manage directory services, authenticate users and the control access. Now, we will try to understand one by one. Starting with the directory service. LDAP provides a centralized and organized way to store and manage directory information. This is essential for maintaining data consistency and making it easily accessible to authorized users. Also, LDAP is commonly used for user authentication, means when the user need to access a system or application or network, their credentials, that is username and password, can be checked against LDAP directory to verify their identity. Apart from that, LDAP allows administrator to define access control rules, which ensures that only authorized users can access a specific resources. This is crucial for security and privacy purposes, which is very important for any organization. Moving forward, we will try to understand how LDAP works. Before that, guys, let me clear one misconception about LDAP. LDAP is a way to interact with the directory service. It does not store the data itself. Directory service is a database which stores the information such as users, groups, or the resources. Now, coming back to how LDAP works, let's try to understand step by step. The very first step is authentication step, where the client provides credentials, usually username and password, to confirm its identity. 
if the provided credential by the client are wrong then it won't connect to the server and if the provided credential are right then only it connect to the server for further request like searching adding deleting this request specify what data it want to retrieve from the directory service for example the client might request a list of all the tools required by him such as tableau power bi here the connection is usually established over tcp or ip typically on the port 389 for ldap moving forward once the user identity is found correct the ldap act as an intermediate between the client and the directory service it receives the client's request for searching retrieving adding updating and deleting data stored in a directory services and prepare it for the transmission to the directory service after that the directory service which is a well organized database receives the search request from ldap it processes the request by searching throughout the directory data for entries that matches the specified criteria for example the directory service searches on all the tools related to data analysis then after processing the search request the directory services comply a list of matching entries which contains the requested data it then sends this list back to ldap for example the directory services find and compiles a list of tools such as tableau power bi required for the data analysis and finally ldap receives the search result from the directory service and delivers them to the client the client can now use the retrieved data for the various purposes such as generating reports or making informed decisions this is how ldap works i hope you guys are now clear with this that's all we got in this particular video for you guys now we will conclude our topic ldap or lightweight directory access protocol is widely used and essential technology that facilitate the management and organization of directory services within the computer networks it serves as a standardized protocol for accessing and maintaining directory information such as user accounts groups and the other resources in a structured and hierarchical manner LDAP plays a crucial role in authentication, authorization and the data retrieval process in the various applications and the systems, making it a fundamental component in identity management and network administration. Its security features and compatibility with a wide range of platforms and applications make LDAP an indispensable tool for managing and accessing directory services in today's interconnected digital world. As technology continues to evolve, LDAP remains a crucial element in ensuring efficient and secure access to the directory information for organizations. I hope this video has clarified the concept of LDAP, why it was developed and how it works. Thank you for watching the video all the way to the end. To see more updates like this, follow the IntelliPath YouTube channel. Just a quick info guys, IntelliPath offers executive postgraduate certification in software development in collaboration with iHub Divya Samparka IIT Roorkee. Through this course, you'll learn a multitude of tools used in the industry such as Git, React, Express, Node.js, MongoDB and more from the esteemed IIT Roorkee faculties and industry experts. With this course, we have already helped thousands of professionals in successful career transition. You can check out the testimonials on our Achievers channel whose link is given in the description below. Without a doubt, this course can set your career to new heights. So visit the course page link given below in the description and take a first step towards career growth in the field of software development.